they said that people who died from COVID, the one thing they noticed was, and, and that's when you and I started talking, Dr. Kumar, was that yeah. they had no NAD in their system. Exactly. So the thing is this. So the way we, we need to understand NAD is uh, the direct fuel to the body. You know, so I, I compare NAD and ATP to, you know, the gasoline and the diesel that is needed for a community to to thrive and do well and to continue to function. So, but if you have all that fuel coming into the city to just, you know, fill up the fire wagon, you know, fire, uh, fire engines, you know, to put out the fire that is going on in half of the town, then you have no energy, no gasoline left over to run the police stations, you know, to run the school systems and just for normal functioning of the public. Because all the fuel that's coming into town is going in to feed the fire engines to put out the fires that has been raging in half the town, which is very similar to what happens to COVID, right? So there's so much of information going on and the body's reacting, doing its best to put out that fire and all the energy is channeled out there to put out those fires and there's no energy left behind to take care of the normal cells, you see? And that's what happens uh, with... Uh, us discovering that there's absolutely no NAD left over in in and the basically dysfunction of the mitochondria. So it kind of all kind of fits together. The story about how, you know, NAD depletion goes along with mitochondrial dysfunction and all the symptoms that go along with that. So it kind of fits in into what we've been, you know, kind of feeling was going on. And, and the other part is the fact that we were actually administering NAD IV to see the recovery. Again, it's a clinical an anecdote. So even though we may not have the science to support it, but again, you know, our patients are feeling better. Again, this is not a claim that, you know, we are not making any medical claims. Obviously, it's everybody's experience is different. And that's where we urge everybody to kind of sit back, you know, look at this information and kind of make their own decisions.